Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing projects I create using the Simply Citrus All-Inclusive Card Kit. It's part of our 2020-2021 Annual Catalog by Stampin' Up! And right now I'm going to unbox the contents of the kit, show you what's inside, and then I will pause, go off and make projects using the, the materials from the kit and using some other coordinated Stampin' Up! products I have, both current and retired, I will come back and share those projects with you. Last catalog, I created a seven part series. So if you missed it, please check that out because this kit here called the Looking Up Card Kit was part of that series. And it returned, because it was so popular, it returned for this catalog. And what's coming up next is going to be the gorgeous posies kit that will be coming up next and I will also be showing you Boho Indigo, Product Medley and of course some things from the holiday catalog which I cannot open up and share yet with you. Alright so let's do this. Let's open up the Simply Citrus kit. One thing I like to do, let me zoom back out, is I like to create a lot of 3D projects with my kits. And if you've watched my different videos and series in the past you'll see that I can take several different kits and keep creating the same projects over and over, but they all look different because of the contents that I'm working with and the, the supplies I'm working with. So that's what's really fun, is once you have some ideas on how to make things, and I will teach you how to make things you know, while I show you these card kits, once you have ideas how to make things, you just repeat your same patterns over and over again. All right, so I like this box, pretty nice, because you can reuse it. Nice craft box, nice lemons on top there. So all-inclusive kits mean that they come with the stamp set and the stamping spot. So we have a Knight of Navy stamping spot. We have stamps, just a note, Hello Sunshine, and Way to Go. Wow, the Hello Sunshine would have been perfect for my, my paper pumpkin kit <laughs> but that I just already finished up with for most of it. And thanks for being you. Okay, let's see what do we have in here. This is actually the first time I'm opening this. I had two of these, but kits and I was going to open one in the video but then one of my team members won the kit as a prize for becoming promoted so I gave that kit away so this is my only kit so I'll be just opening it up working with it and showing you what I had. This is kind of fun. Here's some twine and some nice really nice embellishments. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh yeah these look like um I mean, not real mother of pearl, but they look like that kind of material, like cross between like vellum and mother of pearl or something. They're really fun embellishments. Put those in a lot of a lot of Stampin' Up dimensionals, which are the three D foams, you know, for for adding dimension to your project. Okay, let's see the cards. Well, and you know, let's let's look at the coordinating colors, which is what I do when I open up my kits and typically, and this is not my typical setup for my lighting, so I hope we can read this pretty well. Simply citrus. I really like the directions, how they're not folded this time. Here we go. We open them up and we're going to look at the coordinating colors. Calypso coral, garden green, just jade, mango melody, night of navy, and white. So that means I will be getting out the cardstock I have. Like I have some Just Jade handy, maybe some Clipso Coral card bases. And when I extend this kit, I'll be using some of those colors to extend my kit. And then it, I, I like to always show how to, the cards I create using the instructions and just following those. And then I like to extend, extend the kit by making other things. So I'll definitely be making one of each and then I'll just go on and do some extra things using the cards and the card envelopes and the liners. Okay, so here's some other adhesives. So we have some twine, and you saw that there's Mango Melody was one of the colors. I'm not sure if that's what color twine that is, but it does look like, oh no, that looks like Calypso Coral Twine. That's what that is. That's Calypso Coral Twine, because Calypso Coral is the color. There's Mango Melody there, and Calypso Coral there. I got stuff sticking all over me. These are beautiful card bases. I mean, right away, I'm, I'm already thinking of how these would make nice bookmarks and tags. And I mean, I can't wait to play with this kit. So there's some card bases. There's some more with the Calypso. 
coral. Oh, nice, nice things for our sentiments. These are already stitched, so you can see. Let me see, zoom in here and see the stitching. I'm gonna put my light on there. Really nice, so we can stamp those in Knight of Navy, um, you know, to get that, with the stampin' spot, put the sentiments on there. Here's the Just Jade card bases, which are also very nice. Oh, these are fun. Like beautiful citrus. We don't even have to stamp these. Pop. I'll be popping all those out first and you're using those to layer up. Oh, here's the garden green. And here's some more of these. Wow, this is a really great value. This kit already has a lot of great stuff in it already. I, I can say, oh, mango melody card bases. Okay, so let's pull these envelopes out and see what we have to work with here. Great envelope lining. So it, because it's summertime, I'm not going to do the Hershey Nuggets. But right away when I look at this, I say, oh, that'd be fun to wrap chocolates in. But, you know, I've had a lot of people tell me when I put chocolates in with my designer shares, paper shares and things, they're like, oh, they were great, but I put them in the fridge because they melted. So, you know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be doing something else. We'll wrap something else with these nice card envelope liners, I should say. All right, so I think that was it. I think I showed you everything that came in the kit. So now we'll go off and make some things. You have a stamping, this is a stamping block. So you, you know what you do is you're gonna mount, let's put this here. You take off your stamps and you're going to peel them off, they're photopolymer, and you're gonna mount those onto your stamping block. And then I like to take my, my stamping spot and ink, ink it upside down like that. And that's how I'm gonna ink it up. You can get away with just using only that color and you'll have great projects. But if you want to extend it further, of course you could color in the lemons with Daffodil Delight or something like that as well. Or um, any, of these, any of these colors, I mean citrusy colors would be really fun for, this one can be a lemon or a lime or a tangerine, this one here. All right, I'm excited to work with this kit and I'll be back to show you what I come up with, thank you. Hello crafty friends, I'm back with 22 projects to show you which I created with the Simply Citrus card kit. I will be showing you five cards I created similar to the instructions first, and then I'll show you many 3D projects including how to create a box from a card base. I have decorated mini pizza boxes, treat boxes, tag treats, bookmarks or tags, diaper fold, candy pouches or tea bag holders, matchbook also they would hold chocolate or tea you'll get to see them all but let's just get right into it and you'll get to see them all so i'm going to show you 22 that i made plus we'll make one so it took me just two days just so you know i usually keep track when i do my card kits but too many things were going on in my household and i didn't keep exact track but it only took me two days to make these 22 projects so like i said once you get the idea on how to make something you can make the same kind of projects over and over with different kits so let's pull out these different cards so here, here's the way to go card. I'm gonna give you a little better picture. And I, I just, for these, I don't really look at the instructions specifically, I just look at the pictures. And what I noticed is something interesting. This stamp set, which by the way, gets stained, but it's not a big deal. This stamp set is where you get the outline of these leaves. Because I was like, oh, mine doesn't look like that when I looked at the piece. So you actually stamp if you want to. I use Knight of Navy to stamp the leaves. And I thought that was a nice effect. So you line them up, it's, it's photopolymer, so you can put that stamp over the top of this printed piece and just stamp those leaves. And I like the little citrus and I put way to go and that's the little stitch thing that came with it. Piece of calypso coral twine and three of the flowers. Okay, so I, I just love the cards just as they are. I mean, this is great with the matching envelopes. So that's your way to go congratulations card. Put that off to the side. So then we'll do just a note next, we'll do this one. So again, you take the, you take the stamp, and this is the, the, the stamp, I mean this piece just comes without any, without any lines on it. So you could take this stamp, and you could stamp Knight and Navy, and you can stamp that on the leaves if you want. I just did it to some of them. They didn't always line up perfectly, but I wasn't really trying, I think it just kind of looked cool. Now here's something different I did to this card. So you see how, just to note, and they have some flowers. You can't really see the flowers because they're white. I decided to dye my flowers. So I took my little white flowers. Here, here they are. 
like that, and I dyed it with the Knight of Navy ink. I just dipped it in the ink, rubbed it around my fingers, and you'll see I did some curry ones later, and my hands are still stained from that. I'll show you those. So that's how I got those flowers to stand out, is by dyeing them with a little, little bit of Knight of Navy. But that's all I did to that card. Okay, put that off to the side. Let's see what else here. We have just a note. I didn't double do the twine because I was trying to, I did run out of twine in this project. So I was, I didn't double knot the twine like on that, but I did everything else. The piece of garden green behind, the, um, the little flowers. I like to do things in threes, so I did the three flowers. And this card was busy enough, so we didn't really need much else to it. The background was very busy. Okay, so just the note. And then we have Hello Sunshine. And again, I took these lemons that were in the Mango Melody color and I did outline those in Night of Navy. And I really liked that effect. I did it to all of them, all of those on there. And I put the little string behind it. And it, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Like when you get a card kit, you can make 15, I believe it was 15 now. Let's make sure. I made 20, yeah, 15 card bases and cards. So if you like these cards, just get the card kit. If you just want to make cards, you can make 15 cards. But I like to make a lot of 3D objects. Thanks for being you. Again, I didn't wrap it double with the twine. I just did single twine, but that's how I did that one. And I did have a couple of these banners left over in the end. It's a piece of mango melody. So now that you got to see the five cards that you can create just using the directions, I will show you the boxes I create from card bases and how to make how to make that. And at the end of the video, I'll be opening up all these boxes, showing you what's inside them. So stick around for that. Now I have only two card bases left after creating the 22 projects. I have one extra just in case I mess up, but I want to make a card. I want to make a box like this this one here because I think this makes a good box. Okay, and um, I'm, I'm not going to make it the same size. I'm going to probably make it just a little bit different size than this. But notice something. Oops, lots of light here. Sorry for the light. This is an inch scored. This is an inch tall box, and this one is only three quarters of an inch box. So we'll put those there, and I'll show you how I did it. So first thing you need to do when you create a, this is called this is called my box from a card. That's what I call it, a making a box from a card. And it's the same way you make pretty much any box. It's just a paper crafting technique I like to show in my card kit tutorials. It's something very easy to do. So you're going to take your paper trimmer and you're going to just trim off, you're gonna cut the card in two. Doesn't matter yet, the sizes don't matter yet. Okay, I'm just cutting that off now, you see? See how there's a little piece of that? So I'm gonna cut this one down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna cut. Now just by cutting this little piece off, this blue, this Knight of Navy, I should say, it's gonna be smaller than this. So watch, perfect. But it's a little too too small. It only needs to be a smidgen smaller on each side. So that's two, that's, I need to trim the, the outside one down a bit. You'll see what I mean. A smidgen is like an 18th of an inch. I need to make sure that the lid is slightly, just slightly, that's a smidgen, a smidgen smaller, I mean a smidgen larger. The lid is going to be a smidgen larger. That's even still, that's even a little bit larger than it needs to be in my opinion. We'll cut this one off a little, let's see. I mean, but it'll work, it'll work. But you really you really want to do like an 18th of an inch. It's okay, because I'm going to put some candy inside. I already have the candy ready. And, and the candy helps hold the if, the, if the bottom's a little loose, it helps hold it. So this is what I'm trying to emphasize here with this tutorial, with this little tutorial. It does not matter what size you're, you start out with your box. I'm not even going to give you measurements because every box is going to be slightly different. All that matters, and again, let me, I can make it some of this light out of here. All that matters is that one is your lid is smidgen bigger than the bottom of your box. That's all that matters. So don't sit there and try to go online and be like, oh, I gotta find out exact measurements for a box. What I'm teaching you, you can make any box anywhere, anytime. Does not matter. As long as your, your, this one is a slightly smaller than your lid. So that you can put, see what I mean? The, the bottom has to be slightly smaller so that the lid fits over the bottom. I mean, that's all. The rest doesn't matter. Okay, so now you gotta decide, do you want your box to be really tall? Like this is an inch, or do you want the box to be three quarters of an inch? Well, let's see. I can go for three quarters. This is what I'm making. I'm gonna put this, putting these candies in there. So let's just say three quarters of an inch. Okay, so you're gonna take your, you're gonna take your card. This is your card, the top of your box, and you're gonna go three quarters of an inch. This, by the way, is a simply scored, 
but this just paper trimmer ha comes if you get the stampin up paper trimmer it comes with a scoring tool as well i just took mine off because i do a lot of paper shares and i'm cutting a lot i like to cut in both directions. well you can still cut in both directions with the scoring tool there i found it got in my way but if you only have a trimmer use what you have okay don't don't run out and get this simply scored unless you're going to be making a lot of boxes and 3d items like a lot of the 3d items i created i use this simply scored I use this all the time, but if you if you just have a trimmer and that's all you have, that's fine. So I'm going three quarters of an inch on all sides. You could do math and go three quarters of an inch in on the other right side, but it's easier not to have to do any math and you just turn the paper and you score three quarters of an inch on each side. So you don't have to do any math on the right side because this will give you the exact measurements. And let me show you what that looks like close up. Okay, so here's, let me just focus this. You have an inch, this is an inch. And so these are in eighths, these are in eighths increments, right? So that's a half an inch, and this is three quarters. So the taller line is three quarters of an inch. And that's all. Now your scoring tool comes with, it has a, it has a thin side, and it has a thick side. The thick side I use more for making flowers, kind of like the flowers that are used in these little cards. You can make little flowers puff up. But the, let me focus that again. But the, the thin side, sorry, let me get that. The thin side, here, there we go, is what I use for scoring, okay, for my Simply Scored. All right, so now that we've done the scoring, I'm gonna do the other side, I'm gonna do the bottom of the lid. And, you know, this is, the scoring is so that you can, I scored on the, on this side, the pattern side, and I'm folding on this side. And you can use a spatula or something to help get your folds, you know, or a bone folder to burnish those edges if you want. But I'm just, just teaching a simple way. So now I'm going to use the knight and navy. And again, I'm going to do three quarters of an inch. Same exact thing. Three quarters of an inch on each, all side. If your box is going to, that was, that's to make this kind of box. So, um, if you're going to make this kind of box, you'd go an inch on each side. Your box would be deeper. But again, you're, you know, you just, it's up to you. You could go an inch and a half, but you can't go much more than that or you end up with a little tiny box that's really tall. So there's your score. So again... And I mean, you could use your little spatula that came with your brother's scan and cut. You can use this. This is what I like to use a lot. This is my paper. Uh, I'm the pa I'm the paper chef. So this is a pampered chef. That's the company that everybody always confuses me with. No, I do not sell cooking products. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But anyway, I'm the paper chef. And this is the pampered chef stone. Stone scraper. There's this stone I've had for like, I don't know, I think 20 years now. Or 18, 19 years. Anyway, it's it's like to make pizza with and I get this little scraper to clean it with I, I even bought some extras and they're, they're great for crafting <laughs> and so I don't do much cooking but I do a lot of crafting so that's what you can use that for and you can use a bone folder but I prefer a spatula more surface area and less less scrapes on my paper less um it makes my paper really get more surface area all right, so that's what you do. So now we fold them. Now you need to do what's called mitering the edges. Okay, so I'm going to take my, you're going to do the same thing to the bottom as you do for the lid. I'm not going to cut through two at once in case I make a mistake. So I'm not going to cut through the bottom and the top of the lid. But I'm cutting around. So I'm, I'm just, first you make an H. You just go like this. You just cut along these lines. I mean, it looks like, to me, it looks like a letter H. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just cutting these lines, okay, like that. Now, this is how to make any box. Like I said, what I'm teaching you is how to make any box. It's what your skills you're learning are any box. All right. I think people get too hung up on measurements and graphics, and you just you just can do this, and you'll be making boxes in your sleep after a while. You won't even think about measurements. Kind of like my mom when she cook when she bakes, she just knows what how much to put in there without measuring she just feels it with her hands so now what i'm doing now is i'm taking out I'm, I'm mitering i'm taking out little tiny triangles so after you make that like i said it looks like the letter h after you cut these lines cut out tiny triangles i'm just doing it on these little i'm trying to do this on these little flaps see okay now and i think that would be you can do it, that's enough but we can also do it on the edges we'll take it one step further first let's just do the triangles and then we'll go back and do something else. But this would be enough. And let me show you what I mean by this would be enough. This would be enough to, like, say you make the bottom of the box. It usually is enough to not make these 
these yeah actually that is enough i think i'm going to go with that but i but i want to show you one step further if you're making kind of a tall box you're also going to have like this side sticking up even after you did that little triangle out of there so another thing you can do so i cut i cut this little part here but another thing you can do is cut this little edge here too but i'm not going to because it worked and you just test it if it works and there's no paper sticking out like if that looks good and there's nothing there's no there's no like cardstock sticking out then you don't need to miter the you don't need to do that edge too i'm happy with that so we've got these little tiny triangles see it see what they look like here that's how much you're cutting out don't ask me to measure that but if you want to you know it's just a tiny little triangle so let's go ahead and cut those out of the lid as well and again before you adhere your lid you're going to test it and see if any of your paper sticking out and if it is you have to then miter the other ed the opposite edge too so the taller your box the more the bigger your triangles need to be cut out mm. all right so there we go let's test it um, yep I mean I don't see anything sticking out all right so what I like to do is lay them down and I actually like to, I, I kind of like to use liquid glue for this but I do have some some seal I think here it's just a lot it's this is a lot quick drying and not not very messy so I'm using stamp and seal but it's almost gone so it actually may run out during this and let me put down something if, if I don't have a flat surface the seal does not work I really prefer by the way just my opinion the seal plus the seal plus for boxes it holds it holds them together much better I mean it just I mean it goes on much like gooier and then it and then it dries solid but this one this one worked too I've already put I made boxes yesterday and when I when I went to go check them today I always test my boxes they were they none of them fell apart so the seal does work good for boxes the regular seal it's the seals a little cheaper than the seal plus seal plus is more permanent but I ran out of that too and one of these videos I plan on showing how to change them both because I have refills for both. So what I'm doing now is I'm just, I put a little bit of seal on it, a little bit of rolling adhesive, you can use glue, and I'm just now adhering my box. Now, if you have liquid glue, get some clothespins, okay? Get some clothespins and pin them. Pin, 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 pin while the, while the box dries. Okay, so that's great. And then here's my little... So I'm just rubbing that and it's all good. And then here's what I'm going to put inside the little, these are called lemon, lemon drops. That's what we're putting inside of that box. And I'll be showing you what's in all my boxes. Okay. And again, I'm putting the adhesive on these four outside flaps. Okay. The up, these four, these four flaps. My lighting will be better once I put a lot more colored things in my video. Right now, if you have just a lot of black, a lot of one color in your video, the white balance is off just so you know that's why my colors go crazy if I don't put a lot of stuff in them and to use this seal or this regular seal I had to go very horizontal um, when I tried to use it like vertical like this it was not coming out I mean it wasn't coming off but it seems like I think I got it down after using just one roll of it I got it used to it and I'm very I'm happy with them both oops that one except for that I'm happy with both the seal the new seal See, it's called Stampin' Seal. I'm happy with Seal and Seal Plus, but I'm happier with Seal Plus. Seal Plus is way more permanent, way more gooey when it comes out and it just kind of dries like glue a little better. All right, so there's the lid. Yippee, skippy. So we stick that in there, all the stuff we put in there, and I have other things in my other boxes. I even put a lemon inside one of the lids of one of my boxes to decorate like the inside to inside lid. Well, let's go ahead and shut this. kind of measured it so the lemon drops would fit now I put the lemon drops in a two inch bag and I did run out of um, the twine I think it's, <laughs> I ran out of the whole roll of crushed curry twine but I'm thinking I have this t this ribbon from the whale of a time suite and the ribbon is pool party and although pool party is not a coordinating color this ribbon is like chiffon or whatever you call that stuff it's see-through and it it seemed to it'll seem to like match i i was using it a little bit and it was matching so i'm going to go ahead and put pool party ribbon on here because i can because there are no rules in crafting right 
I'm just shutting this now. I'm going to put the sentiment on in a minute. I want to just set it because my lemon heads keep popping out and it's driving me crazy. But I have bigger fish to fry, so we shouldn't worry about lemon heads. And I, I decided to use those because I, when I send people things, they don't melt. It doesn't melt. They don't melt. And I'm using caramel creams. I'm using a little bit of chocolate in these projects, although I said I wasn't going to. I'm just not using nuggets because they, they are too soft. It's too soft of a chocolate. All right, so now we go and we get my stuff that I have left over. This is after making 15. I have a couple envelopes. Or no, 22, not 15. 22 projects. I still have loads of leftover things. Well, of course, I use some of my own my own Stampin' Dimensionals, but we can use the way to go. We can't use just a note on a box. We can use Hello Sunshine, but I think I haven't used that many way to goes, you know, as far as using them in my projects. But there's Thanks for Being You. That's, that's a good one as well. We'll just use that one because I think I've only made one card with way to go and I've only made one one treat with way to, way to go and I have a lot of way to goes. Way to goes are good for my team who are awesome. They keep getting promoted faster than I can even keep track of them. All right, let's see. There we go. Now, there we go. So we have that and then I, I'm going to show you like what I did with the these little flowers, they, they come like this. I love these flowers. They're, I love the white flowers. They're pretty nice already. But I, I was like, oh, I could just put some um, color. Let me put them on top of this white so you can see. So I put some color on them just by rubbing a little bit of crushed curry onto the flower. And I really like how that came out. So what I'm doing is if I'm putting it on the white part, I'm using the crushed curry flower. But if I'm putting the flower on the box, I'm using the other one. So just using the glue dots that came in the kit, they were here <laughs> and I, I'm not talking about like the big the small glue dots that you might have these these a little bit the ones in the kit are a little bit bigger I'm just looking around so forgive me as I see if I can find the right I mean it doesn't matter which glue dots I use but there was a type of glue dot that seemed to me that was a little bigger than the others. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna have to use the small glue dots. And in the case of the small glue dots, you can use two of those. It's amazing how I had everything prepared for this video, all within reach, and then it's all gone. So what, what I'm gonna do is just use these glue dots. So I'm gonna put this on. If I want the little yellow flower, then I have to put a couple of these down. You might not see what I did here, but you see how I put the dot onto the paper? Let me see if I can focus that and turn some light here. Okay, you can see that in the camera because I can see it in the camera. See that little dot? Well, for when you use the really small glue dots for these flowers, you seem to need two of those. And that's why I was trying to find the big glue dots that came in this kit, which are pretty cool. And then I'm and then I put on I'm going to put on a little yellow flower. Here's a yellow crushed curry. I used crushed curry only because I think that worked a little better than daffodil delight. So just let me show you that. So that 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 flower is colored in crushed curry. This is an old style. I used the old style stamp pack because I was putting my fingers all over it and shoving the um, I was shoving the flowers right into the ink, and I was like pounding them around with my fingers. So that's what that's what happened there. So that's what that is. And I would put a couple more flowers from the bag. Here, here we go. And so I'll put the yellow one there. And then I like to do things in threes when you decorate. So this is ready to go. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to a host. I had a host, meaning a lot of, a lot of people have been isolated. And instead of having, you know, stamping up workshops or parties or things, people are doing virtual, virtual things virtual parties and she she actually took charge got some friends together and they earned some rewards for shopping stamping up last month and we had an extra bonus thing so anyway i'm not even saying her name because i want her to be i like when people are surprised with my happy mail i try not to announce which happy mail is coming but it was for a host hostess and they're going to get her and her friends are going to get these 
these little things because when I actually do a workshop in person, which has been a while because I've been working virtually, um, we, I like to give hostess gifts in person as well. All right, so that's how you do a box. Okay, right, now let's keep going now. All right, so I have a lot more things to show you. And I said I would open all these at the end. So, but these, these are, you've already seen what these are and we'll open them all. So let's do some more 3D projects and then we'll open those at the end and then we'll be done. So here we have, these are called mat, uh, matchbook, let me see what I call these, matchbook, yeah, tea holders. So you can fit Ghirardelli chocolates in these. That's one thing I usually put inside them as well. And you can staple the bottoms of them, but I didn't have a stapler handy. So I just used, I just adhered the bottom. And here is, uh, I love lemon uh, tea. So you can put a Ghirardelli chocolate or a tea bag because like I'm using the tea bags a lot more this summer. And I really like Big Low brand because it, they come individually wrapped, the tea bags. So I use some, some of the crushed carry, not crushed carry, uh, Calypso coral twine for these projects. So that's what I use for that. And I wanted to show you the lemon builder punch. Here we go. This is, so I told you at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna use some project, some materials from the kit. So this is from the kit. This is one of the card bases from the kit, these lemons. And this is a card base, but I, and so are these. These are the actual card bases. These matchbook treats. I do show you how to make these on my channel, by the way. So I'll link to related tutorials. However, I just wanted to show you that this is in these lemons inside here are from the lemon builder punch. This is a retired item, but I love, I think I've had in the last several years, I bought every punch and I, I love this. It was around for a couple years. So some of you might have it and we retire items like this that are very uh, expensive to manufacture. And after a lot of, I think after a saturation point, let's put it that way. I think a lot of, a lot of you might have that lemon builder punch because it was around for a couple years and then it got retired. But that's how I made that's how I made the lemons to go on the back of that. Okay, and you could staple the bottom. They're just a matchbook, and you just take a card. And I didn't have to do any piecing of the papers together. And I did stamp around the edges of those lemons. I dyed, not dyed, but you know, colored with my fingers. Crushed curry, these little flowers. Put three flowers on each one. I forget where this die came from. This stitch die, hello. But I did want to mention that I cut the stamps apart. Okay, so you can do this. It's it's your kit. When you get this kit, okay, Simply Citrus Card Kit. When you get this card kit, do whatever you want. It's your kit. So it's my kit. I cut my stamps. I cut the hello off of the sunshine. See? I cut the hello off of the sunshine. Just be careful with that little, the letter S. See, the letter S I did end up cutting into a little bit, but it didn't seem to matter when I stamped sunshine later. But there's, there's the hello sunshine together, and then I cut it apart, and I started putting it on some little, some little things I had. All right, so then I did some more 3D projects with some tea. Again, that big low tea, and I have the box to show you because it had many kinds in the same. It's called Assorted Herbal Teas, and I'll link to it if you want to order it from you know, my link. I mean, I don't sell the teas directly. I'm just saying, you know, if you want to support the channel that way. All right, so this is these are Pick a Pattern, not Pick a Pattern, sorry. Playing with Patterns Designer Series Paper. To make these little diaper fold treats, and I've shown how to make these on my channel as well, to create these treats, you need a six by six inch paper. I didn't have any six by six inch paper from creating this kit because none of the cards, none of the cards, I didn't have the designer series paper. So I wasn't able to make them fit the tea bag. So I just took some of my playing with patterns designer series paper, and I took ones that had the same coordinating colors. This is Calypso Coral, for example. That's the outside of that paper. That's the inside of that playing with patterns designer series paper. So use other products. That's current. That's in our current catalog. And I thought the Sweet Dreams Herbal Tea matched the Night of Navy really well. And there's the Orange Spice matched well. This has Calypso Coral in it, Crushed Curry. Lots of coordinating colors, even some extra colors that aren't even in the other suite, but are in the citrus. But then there's some Night of Navy. Needs to erase that a little bit, yeah. Sometimes adhesive gets on things. Just erasing that while I'm while I'm thinking of it. All right, um, let's see. This one is again playing with patterns. I like that cal uh, Calypso Coral, Crushed Carry. This was Coastal Cabana. But some, like I said, even if the corn colors aren't all the same from the others, there's the Night of Navy. It was enough to match these. So I used the thanks for being you. I just add some extra circles, cut out with my scan and cut, or a punch or wherever I got these circles. Just some extra circles because I ran out of the ones. 
that were stitched, see the stitched ones that came in the kit. But I'm still using only sentiments. Everything I'm showing you here are sentiments only from this kit, this Simply Citrus kit. So everything you see in my pictures, it's just that I put them on different things. Like I put them on different dyes and things, although they're the same sentiments. All right, what else do we have? Tag treats, tag treats. So here we have some tag treats. Again, that Calypso Coral, that twine used up that some more dyes i forget what that was maybe it's called stitch so sweetly dyes and maybe these are from the world of or the in good taste suite this dye but i have i just take i don't remember which dyes came from where because i carry around a bag of dyes a bag of things i cut out with dyes so like just and punches so i i, I mean then i forget where i got them from i know i should keep track of that but here we have tag treats now i made the tag treats with the, this punch here called the Fancy Tag Topper Punch. It's a new punch in our annual catalog. There are three punches you can use to create these tag treats. And I'm thinking of doing soon like a tag treat in the mail course where you get all the parts to make tag treats, but you can use one of three punches to make them. And, and I just want everybody to be able to make these because there's so many cute things you can put inside them. So for instance, since I put some chocolate inside these, only because it fit and it's some uh, Godiva chocolate, and I'm, you know, I'm thinking that these might melt though, depending in the mail. So I'll put these in an extra bag or I'm thinking of just using, I have here some, some, some of these instead. I don't, these won't melt, but either way, these aren't really sealed property as much either, but these just won't melt all over the place. But these fit inside as well, your tag treat. So you can put that inside there. See, it sticks out a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, it's all good. It's all cute, right? So we'll go with the chocolate then i think i'll go with the chocolate but then put everything in a bigger bag so hopefully it doesn't melt now this chocolate's a little harder than nuggets nuggets is a soft chocolate hershey's hershey's chocolate is a little softer than the european chocolates american chocolates are that's just because we like our milk you know we like our milk chocolates and these, these are a little bit harder all right we meaning americans like our milk chocolate all right this is this is again these are just card bases now look at this just you see how the card bases are white inside on these treats that's from a card base and this is from this is from a card base see how it's white inside but i also took some because i was running out of card bases i took some just jade cardstock see how our cardstock stamping up cardstock is dyed all the way through pretty cool right so i like stamping up cardstock because you can score it and you never get any white inner core showing because it's dyed all the way through all right so those are tag treats Again, I've shown how to make these, but I, I plan on doing some kind of course or tutorial. I'm just not into the card classes in the mail, but I am into 3D things, so we might do one of those. All right, I told you I'd show you a couple more cards, a couple more 3D items. We're gonna open up all my boxes, so here we go. So here we have, we'll do, we'll do this, we'll do these two note cards, how about that? So again, I'm using some retired products for these next four things I'm gonna show you. I'm using retired Calypso Coral scalloped note cards and envelopes. They came in a pack with several colors of note cards and envelopes. I don't remember what year that was, probably a couple years ago. And there was Old Olive was one of the colors. There, there's these little scallop note cards and envelopes. I saved them. I said, oh, I'll use them sometime. And there, look at this. Now we have Calypso Coral in the Simply Citrus kit. It matched perfectly. So I was able to make small note cards for thanking you know, customers or putting care packages. And, and there's, I dyed that, that dyed those, um, colored those a little bit with some with some ink, you know, coloring those flowers, okay? This one I put twine on. You don't have to, then, then it makes your card a little bulky in the mail. This one I didn't put twine on. I just took pieces of the envelope liners. That's how I made these, the envelope liners. And these note cards were like that. But use whatever note cards you want. Use this, if you want to make small note cards, use pieces of Calypso Coral cardstock. I hope you're still inspired, even if you're like, oh, I don't have those exact products. Like maybe you don't have the lemon builder punch. Cut out a lemon with your scan and cut. Go get a lemon SVG file right you can still make lemon bookmarks these are my tags or bookmarks and i plan on putting i think i'm going to put a little piece of uh this one on with these two a little bit of this pool party because i think it wouldn't go nice on this bookmark but i just wanted to first show you how i made it just with the products from you know just the material from the kit from the simply citrus kit so this is a piece of these are these are both just jade cardstock okay then i took the envelope liners Okay, I took the envelope liners. This is an envelope pattern, beautiful paper. I wish I had more of just this paper because it's so fun for making boxes of sunshine. I put that, so the, the, the bookmark itself or the tag itself was two inches wide. 
Then this is 1.75 inches wide, the, the inside. Then I used some banners and way to go and hello sunshine. And then I punched the lemons out of the card bases. Okay, so that's how I made that. That's how I made these two tags. And then I like to, like if I have a new Paper Punk a subscriber or something, I like to always send them something that's not a card because I want them to see. And I, I try to send them a card and then something that's not a card because I like them to see possibilities of what you can do with things that are not cards. All right, so in every kit, and I do this, I do these kind of videos, by the way, every month, every single month I do paper pumpkin videos like the one you're seeing now. So if you like my channel and you like seeing crafty items, please subscribe. All right, so this is Hello Sunshine. I, a, I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I stamped the, the lemon from the stamp set in Crush Curry. I think I used Crush Curry here. I could have used Daffodil Delight inside of the lemons, for these lemons, but either way, <laughs> that's my brother making making noise in the background. Um, then either way, this is this is um, two two kinds of yellow. They, I thought it went well with that. And Night of Navy for the Hello Sunshine and the three flowers. That's a Just Jade card base with the Whisper White liner. All right, so we're ready to open the boxes. I'm going to show you what boxes out, what other boxes I have, and then we'll open all the boxes. Mini pizza boxes are great for using when you have when you have these kinds of kits. You take your mini pizza boxes and you, let me pause for a second and ask my family to stop talking in the background one moment. Well, just like me, you can't get me to stop talking, so I can't get them to stop, but I did shut the door so you don't have to hear them, but they're excited and that's all good. So this is what's called a mini pizza box, okay? So I want to show you what they look like before I decorated them. They come like this in a pack and they're food safe. You get like a pack of eight, I believe. Yes, very great deal because they're very, very sturdy cardboard with food safe linings. Okay, so that's what I started with and I like to decorate those for different things. So these are two little boxes of sunshine that I'll open up and you can see how I used the card bases to decorate them, pieces of the envelope liner, um, pieces of twine and the, the flowers. I used everything from the, from the kit. This is after I cut, this is the first time I cut that stamp apart. And, this, and the S still came out okay when I used the sunshine. So you can cut that stamp apart, just be careful on the S. And so here's what the pizza boxes look like. So we're just going to untie this. And again, I'm wor because it's summertime, I don't want a lot of things to melt. So we, I think I put tea in this one. It's very light. Yes, I put, I put a lemon on the inside. And yep, four, four teas. I love lemon, orange and spice, cozy chamomile, and mint melody with a little line on the bottom. Okay, so that's that. And here's another paper punk, a mini mini pizza box. We also make mini paper pumpkin boxes, by the way, which are really fun to decorate, but they're a lot bigger. These are cuter because they're smaller. They're still, it's all good. Okay, I put some, I put hello on the inside here. Another decoration, I put some sticky notes, some yellow sticky notes. I put some, those lemon drop candies, which are sort of dusted so they don't melt, which is really nice. They're hard candy. Put some stickers, this little box of sunshine. So Caribbean, little fish and palm trees, just little stickers. Sandy Line Essentials. And I Love Lemon Tea in that one. Okay, and then now the phone's ringing. How fun. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Okay, this is another, oh, more tea. Okay, so orange and green. And that's thanks for being you. I actually put, I outlined this in a little bit of pool party blends because I didn't want to ink around the edges, so I just used a little blends for that. And you, I think we just did this together, so you saw what was in there, right? That was the, the lemon drops in that one. We just made this together. So it's this one. I'll show you what's inside this one. Hello Sunshine, again, stamped it. Daffodil Delight, I believe, for that. Three little flowers on it. A card base, one inch sides, three little flowers. Yep, and some more lemon heads. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on what you can create, the 22 projects plus the one we made, what you can create with the Simply Citrus card kit. Stay tuned as I work with the other card kits in our annual catalog and holiday catalog by Stampin' Up. That's all for now. This is The Papered Chef. Thank you for watching.